Oh yeah, dead watchman. Look at this. He looks big. He looks scary. That's for sure. But I don't think he really is that scary. So guys, it is me, Hepicirc, and welcome back to Donna Zombie Survival. So first things first, a huge thanks to developers for sponsoring this video. And now, guys, let's get to the juicy part. So Donna Zombie Survival has received a massive, massive update, and I think this update is gonna change the way players play this game because now there is a skill system in the game, and I'm a huge fan of skill systems in every game because I've played lots of RPG games. I'm a fan of RPG games, and every Every time a survival game is gonna implement a really cool skill system is just mwah. and from the things I've seen Donna zombie survival just did that so let's guys check out like this skill system I'm gonna try my best to explain how it works I'm pretty sure that most of you already know how the system works or whatever but just in case for those who do not know I'm gonna try my best to explain it so each level you'll be getting a skill point that you'll be able to put in your character and there are a bunch of skills but for example in order to unlock like this knife pro you'll have to fill up skill scale to 20 so you have to fill up like these skill scales and I think by just clicking one plus here yeah you're you're increasing it by five and then yeah another five and after you increase it, wait, do you need to spend a skill point? Okay, so you do get one free chest. Let's receive this. But in order to get this thing, again, you need, guys, those skill points, like basic skill points to choose whatever other skills. So this is, like, guys, that down progress is used to unlock, like, those other special skills. I think it's pretty straightforward, but I just want to explain for those who do not know. And at the same time, guys, at the up the very top, these are just basic skills. So up the very top, we have, like, different skills. Like, for example, there are those fighter skills. But to unlock the fighter skills, we have to get, like, that skill tree system to, like, 185th level. And same goes for all the other skills like for example if you want to unlock like special skill tree provider you will require to get like your basic skills up to level 185 for those who do not know just leveling up your character here is not going to be enough to unlock all of the skill points in order to get more skill points you will have to start doing like special institutes and boom this is going to be all the institutes where you can get like different neuroplasmids because each institute is going to have different neuroplasmids and different neuroplasmids are going to be used for different skill trees so now I'm gonna be able to show for you how all of that works. I'm just gonna take like these basic neuroplasmids, a little bit of those, a little bit of those. So now I'm gonna try to learn some of those uh, basic neuroplasmids. Wait, I'm gonna learn one. Uh, okay, so from one neuroplasmid, you guys getting 10 skills. So I'm gonna learn uh, basically most of them. We've just gotten guys 200 basic points. And now I'll be able to literally level up my skill tree here to the very end because I just wanna show for you guys how these skills work. And then we're gonna go search for those institutes because now institutes were moved to different location you have to go like to some sort of splinters trader post or whatever and there you'll be able to get the coordinates so what that's what i'll try to do today but let's go let's level up our skill tree here till the very very end okay 185 level and now we have to go and learn these skills but before that uh, we've gotten another chest so let's guys receive that chest and just for me to not forget up the very top i think you'll be able to reset your skill points and first time resetting those skill points is going to be free but next time i think you'll have to pay for it so now i'm gonna try to learn like this five Okay, you need a spearman or knife master. I'm not sure. I don't know what's the difference. So I'm gonna go like let's say for the spearman Oh, so okay, so I get it now guys So in order to get this we either have to level up. Okay, cool cool So that's what I'm just trying to say here This is a very nice skill tree system because in order to unlock like the fighter You will have to first things first like get let's say spearman, right? So guys, uh, we're gonna learn the spearman and it's not enough points But we do have enough of those and your replacement thing is so let's take them So here I'm gonna learn some more basic points now uh, we've done that and I'll be able to go back to this place and we're gonna learn the spearman let's learn the spearman so uh, amateur spearman uh, spear damage is increased by 12% so we're gonna learn it to maximum here we go five out of five my spear damage here is increased by 20% so that's nice and now we'll be able to get the fighter now here we go guys let's go and you need also you also need to have the knife master I thought you need only one of those okay so now we're gonna get guys the knife master let's get the knife master to pro but it's only three times so it should be pretty easy here we go, guys. We learned the Knife Master now. And Knife Master is gonna give me 20% damage to knives. So we've learned, like, this simple Knife Master. But now, in order to get, like, this Knife Master, we had to, like, get this other Knife Pro thing. So it's kind of straightforward. Like, as soon as you will click on this skill, it's gonna show you what other skill you have to upgrade first. So now we're gonna upgrade, like, this Knife Master to level 5 just so that we could get that other... Okay, so kill moose and wolves with a knife. Oh, so you have to also complete some sort of a quest. This is cool, honestly. Honestly, this is really cool. Kill moose or wolves with a knife. This is really cool. I love it. Like, okay, so in order to like uh, become like pro master with like those knives, 
and unlock like this fighter skill tree because uh, this is gonna be guys entire fighter skill tree we have to also complete like some sort of a small quest this is amazing but before we start doing that quest i want to go and open up like these two crates that we've got from unlocking those basic skills so let's open up the first chest and inside of the first chest oh we've gotten even some experience let's learn that experience so let's get uh, another chest and that's it so we've gotten resources from that thing so i'm gonna craft like here a couple of these stone knives i'm not really sure if that's gonna be enough to kill like 15 of those dudes but it looks like it will be pretty easy because i don't have enough resources to craft like this better knife and i don't think i have a machete oh wow i crafted way too many knives well whatever i'm gonna get rid of a couple of those knives then so hopefully i'll be able to find like some some of those moose and wolves inside of this this quiet grove and what i just wanted to say is that it's really nice to see that dono zombie survival now is gonna have like this skill system it's really nice to see a game that is gonna have a decent skill system without something random or whatever you get to choose your own path you can put your skill points on how you want to put them so i just love that but now we have to do like this quest to unlock like that battle system or whatever so this guy is gonna be a moose and it has only 250 health i want to know how much damage we're gonna do like with this can i like do some damage boom 190 okay so it's not that much but i'm not really sure if i can use the throwing knives because i would definitely use now the throwing knives okay so Apparently, I'm not going to be able to fight him here, but just like that. So I'm going to try to use this simple knife to fight with this chariot. Uh, I'm gonna sneak. Okay, I cannot hide yet, but I can definitely sneak behind like this moose once again So this is gonna be my first moose out of whatever go to sleep moose So this guy is gonna be a first moose Yes, one moose out of 15 and can I like use my throwing knife on this wolf? Will it work? I just threw a knife on the wolf and now I'm gonna just kill him just like this did it work Maybe it worked. Maybe it did not but who cares? Hey, and also in this update there are some new weapons So I'm gonna definitely show those new weapons as well. There's like what mini 14 or whatever so so I think we will check that mini 14 a little bit later. But as I said, I want to definitely uh, check out like those skill points and those skill trees. I want to see what other skills we have in the fighting area. And there's the moose. So I'm going to sneak like this. I'm going to throw the knife. And did it work? Oh, the throwing knives do not work. So only simple knives work. So I just wasted that one moose. I could have been 3 out of 15 instead of 2 out of 15. But hey... The more you know. So I don't even think that this machete here is gonna work as well. So I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm just guy is gonna take like this simple knife. And I'm gonna stab the moose just like that. Luckily the moose does not run away too far. So I'll be able to kill it. And this is gonna be now a 3 out of 15. And I like it that they're giving like here some sort of a side quest. Because it's a pretty easy side quest to kill like 15 of those things with your knives. In order to uh, be able to level up that other skill. And at the same time there are a bunch of skills to choose from. And now doing those institutes is going to be even more worth it because in those institutes you will be able to get like those special neuromines or whatever they called neuroplasmids not neuromines i've never done an institute here yet myself so i want to go to institute as soon as possible as well but from how i see they're not even located here on the map we have to go like to some sort of as i said splinters trader post or whatever and there we'll be able to get coordinates at least that's where we have to start i'm not sure so hopefully we'll have enough time to check that out today as well so here we go this wolf have attacked me let's deal with one more wolf this is going to be four out of 15 and skill points receive level up oh so every time you level up you don't get uh, only one skill point so this is guy's gonna be a six smooth here we go six out of 15 so this is guy's gonna be my last wolf let's deal with this wolf that's it so we've done this quest now i can leave this zone it took me quite a bit of time to just travel from between one and another zone to get like those 15 kills but it was pretty easy so now guys let's go back here to these skill points and let's finally upgrade our last knife master to maximum level let's get it got it and now I think we'll be able to choose like this fighter skill enables you to master the weapons which will make you equal to best fighters in the territory so let's go guys it will require us 30 of those basic skill points let's learn this and look at this we have unlocked a completely another category wow that's a lot of skills dude look at that like from up to 2000 oh wow oh wow oh wow so you will seriously require to play here for quite a bit of time to unlock let's say to the last skill but, dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. And now I think we're gonna spend, like, a little bit of these points. Just also only one point. Oh, and uh, the rest are gonna be just by five points, by ten points, if you can. Okay. 
Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. So we're gonna get like this chest uh, from the combat system. Uh, let's receive those. And there are guys, just so many skill points that I think you'll just have to click on each of them and just see which ones are better and whatever. And at the same time, guys, all of these skill points stack up. So for example, if there's gonna be one of those skills that let's say gonna give you damage for throwing items, let's say this one is gonna give you plus 2% for throwing items. And let's say there's gonna be like another, some sort of a skill point that is gonna increase your damage here as well. Both of these items, I mean, both of those skills are gonna stack up. So let's say if one skill is gonna have 20% and then another one is gonna give you 20%. So that means you're gonna get like 40%. And there's guys another throwing thingy that you can learn as well. So if you're gonna learn this one, then you're gonna, let's say, learn here another one. And then you're gonna learn all the other throwing uh, knife thingies. You're gonna have like a bunch of and bunch of damage just by throwing those other knives. If you will want to be a better spearman, you can like learn these skills for the spearman. And if you wanna learn like how to do more damage with cutting weapons, you can learn this. So I'm gonna try to learn like some of these neuroplasmids now just to be able to level up a couple of more combat skills there. There's no way I'll be able to level up all of them, but just at least a little bit. So I think I'm gonna get like to higher level because I think the best skills are gonna be here available a little bit at the end. Like for example, if I will want to upgrade my snipers, I'll have to like get this amateur sniper thingy, but I'll have to have like 1,620 points. And I don't think there's any other skill for the sniper rifle before that. So in order to upgrade your rifles, you will have to spend here lots of and lots of skill points, which is really cool. So I can learn like this. Okay guys, so let's try to learn like these uh, throwing knife thingies. Let's learn this. So at the max level, I think we're gonna have like 10%. Yes, we have the knife throwing uh, at 10%. And I think we can uh, get another knife throwing thing. Yes, so let's learn those uh, knife throwing things here as well. Well, at least I've learned here a little bit. But at the same time, I wanna check out what kind of skills we're gonna have here in the survivalist section. And to get to that guy's survivalist section, I need to learn this. But to learn that, I need to get the healthy food. And to get the healthy food, oh, it's pretty easy. So let's finally learn this healthy food to maximum. Boom, I learned that. Food restores a 15 percent more health which is pretty great oh you can even learn like this because i think guys this skill is going to be really important as well because your bandages are going to restore more health so it's a very important skill and now let's get back here to our skill tree i think we'll be able to learn now this survivalist let's learn this but before i go there i also want to learn the nurse skill thing here we go my bandages are going to restore me 25 percent more like that's crazy dude. that's so cool okay so let's check out now these survivalist uh, skill points uh, so i think i'm going to add here a couple of that let's say we're going to add to level 50 and now let's see what that's gonna be. Your body can handle even serious dehydration, reduces damage from critical thirst. So yeah, just as I thought in this survivalist section, you'll have all of these cool buffs for your bandages or whatever so that they would probably restore more health so that you'd be probably resistant to some more other stuff. Grants a chance to save energy whilst switching in stealth mode. Okay, so this is gonna be cool as well. You'll be able to save a little bit of energy in that. Plus there's another like master assassin. So if you're gonna probably combine all of these stealth skills, maybe you'll be able to literally sneak without wasting any of your energy, which is really cool. So we've gotten here another chest because we reached here level 15. But to get any of these skills, I think I'll have to get, let's say, this light eater. And to go light eater, we have to go to the basic skills. You need less food to satisfy hunger. Food efficiency increased by 25%. So all of these basic skills probably are going to be really important. I think you'll have to learn all of these basic skills. Here we go. Plus, we're going to start getting here less thirsty. So yeah, I think, guys, getting like these basic skills is going to be super important. You don't need as much food. Hunger is slowed down by 4%. Let's say we're gonna learn those. So how many percent we're gonna have when we're gonna be at the maximum level? So 20% uh, less hunger. Long distances are no big deal for you. Increase walking speed on the global map. Oh, so, so there are those skills here as well. You can even increase your max health here too. So now we know what we can get in those survival skills, what we can get in the combat skills, but I also want to see what kind of skills we can have in the provider. And to get this provider, we'll have to have the metal worker. So let's get a metal worker to the, to the maximum level. All pieces of old metal barrels are put to good use. Increase your chances to obtain more metal from barrels plus three. So we have 30% chance to get plus three extra metal. Cool, cool. And we also have to learn the geologist. Let's get this. And with that thing, we'll be able to get like plus two extra con concrete blocks. Let's learn those. Boom, boom. And we're going to learn now provider. And let's guys, let's check out like this completely new provider skill tree. I think I'm going to spend here a couple of points again up to level 15 just to get this one chest. Oh, and at the same time, I probably forgot to mention that if you're going to reset all of your skill points, first time it's going to be free, but these chests are not going to reset. So you'll be able to only to reset the points, but not the chest. Like, you're not gonna get additional chests. So, okay, so we've got in this chest, cool bandages, a couple of items. Hey, that's great. And now let's see what kind of skills we have here in this resource 
resource skill tree. So it looks like in this resource uh, skill tree will be able to have literally more resources. That's what it says. Even though it was called provider, but when we click on it now, it says resources. So I want to see what is the end skill here. Expert researcher. You can miss a useful item where it hides. Increase your chances of finding rare resources and materials in special events. So there are a bunch of here useful skills as well. Basically just to get more resources. So let's say we're going to now learn this amateur hunter uh, just to have an extra chance to get like plus to meet. So we're going to learn this boom boom at the maximum level. We're going to have 30%. I'm pretty sure maybe somewhere else there's going to be another one. Look at this. We can also learn this one. I mean this other skill and they're going to stack up. So that means maybe there's going to be like a 100% chance for us to get like that extra meat. Chance to find extra rags on dead bodies. We can learn that as well. So there are lots of other skills that I'm pretty sure you'll have to just click on each of them and check out which ones are going to be useful. So I'm going to learn here the woodcutter and a couple of other skills while I still have here a couple of points. Increases your chance to find extra mushrooms. So we have 50% guys to find extra mushrooms. And we can also learn here this herb gatherer. And I think we have all of the skills in the basic section, right? Yeah, guys, I think we have all of the skills in the basic section here. Oh, besides like this uh, tomato seed thingy. Let's learn, guys, the tomato seed thingy. And right now we have everything. Yes, yeah, so right now all of the skills in the basic skill tree here are learned. There's still lots of uh, stuff to learn in the combat stuff. Okay, guys, so I just came like to a gas station because I thought maybe here I'll be able to find like that splinter and he like whatever guy me where to find like those institutes so let's see what this gas station now is gonna be about stranger i'm a strider you can call me gunslinger how did you get here so now guys we have to disable the car alarm at the old gas station but before we do that i want to check out the new weapons that are available here in the game so i took there a couple of weapons and first things first we're gonna check out like this modified mini 14 I want to see how it works. This is, again, probably going to be some sort of a sniper rifle. This is going to be the simple chariot. Boom. We just put him with one bullet. I'm pretty sure that these sniper rifles are going to be really strong. I don't even have to waste them here on this place. But I just wanted to check. I just wanted to show for you how they work. Another one. Another one. And there's going to be... Oh, no. There's the big guy. That's pretty easy. So I'm just going to deal with these guys as quickly as I can. I don't think dealing with them is going to be big of a problem. Even though he said that we should sneak or whatever. Because there's going to be another wave of Zamzam. So how much damage do I actually do with it? It looks like I'm going to do... Okay, so from 340 to 360 damage. So that's why we're just one-shotting all of them here. So we're not going to one-shot this guy. Okay, go to sleep. And this is probably, guys, going to be the car that I have to disable the alarm. So now I'm going to sneak behind this car and tap here to disassemble. Uh, okay, so I shouldn't have touched this wire. Wait, I want to... How many of them are going to attack me? That's it? That's it? I thought more of them are going to attack me. Okay, so my guy's kind of thirsty. I want to drink this and I want to, guys, check out a different weapon. This uh, attack team's uh, M10104. Uh, let's get this. I think this is going to be like a shotgun. Okay, semi-automatic shotgun. Yes, this guy is going to be a semi-automatic shotgun. So I'm going to try to disable the alarm in the car and uh, will another alarm trip? No, it, it was fine. Uh, the car alarm is dead. Now I can search the car. Let's loot the car. And maybe from here in this location, we're going to start fighting those institutes. I'm not really sure. So his name is Gunslinger. There was no spare. That's right in lock. No worries. Okay, so we didn't get anything inside of that car. One of the charge should have the gas station keys. So, I mean, we're just going to probably kill all of them. Oh, wow. The shotgun does lots of damage. How much damage is it going to... From 720 to 750. Wow. Does it do like more damage? Aerial damage? Wait, I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, let's try to do it. Oh no, it does only one uh, one shot, so it doesn't do like aerial damage. Well, these shotguns are really strong as well. Again, I do not want to waste them. And this is gonna be the dude to, to whom we were talking. The gunslinger, he's up the top on the roof, but I still don't know where is the key. As he said, one of those charred dudes or whatever is supposed to have a key, so I'm just gonna loot all of them. Maybe we'll find a key from here. And I just noticed that there are these arrows pointing to that cross. Look at this. There there were these arrows all the time pointing me to get like to this place. Like to this cross but what's up? So I cannot open that door obviously. I don't have a key but there is another arrow pointing me where should I go. So there are gonna be these shards. I'm gonna use here my snap transition to deal with these guys and probably some of them are gonna drop like that key. Uh, here we go. We've gotten a key from this dude. Very nice. So we're gonna go there grab him some magazines. That's what he asked us for. You'll have to fight your way through. Capiche? Yes, capiche. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's open up the door. Let's fight our way through. I don't think it's gonna be really that hard because I think this is a pretty like beginner location. So yeah, this is just gonna be a simple uh, charred strider. So 
yeah, it's not a big deal. Let's deal with another one. I think I can even sneak behind and skill point received. We've gotten some more skill points. So wait, each level you don't get only uh, one skill point or do you? I don't know. So uh, Gunslinger said the magazines were on a stand cache. Okay, let's take a couple of magazines for him. Let's take those. You've got the magazine. There should be a ladder on the hatchet in the storage room. Let's get to the storage room then. I'm pretty sure there are going to be more uh, zombies for sure. Let's open it up. Yeah, look at this. There's another one. Okay, so we dealt with these zombies. Now let's open up some more doors because as he said, there has to be a ladder, but I don't know where. Uh, some more simple zombies, which are not going to be that big of a deal. I'm going to probably open up another door. Maybe on this side, there's going to be a ladder. And uh, nope, there's just more zombies. So we're going to not open up this door. It looks like I had to have a hatchet, but hey, I had a hatchet luckily. And there's going to be another beef driver. Beef driver go to sleep and i think we're gonna go up this ladder here to meet gunslinger or whatever his name was what am i doing oh this is gonna be the gunslinger wait did he change his position because he was totally standing over here he wasn't standing on on this corner whatever let's give him uh, all of these uh, newspapers the magazines or whatever there is a spare in my usd that you can borrow okay so you can't have it for free you'll have to work for me blah 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 here's the key to the backyard door there's a dead watchman yeah we're gonna be able to kill him not a big deal so let's open up this door and let's fight with like that big guy. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. As I said, it's kind of a beginner location. I think I could even fight all of them here with that simple knife. Oh yeah, dead watchman. Look at this. He looks big. He looks scary. That's for sure, but I don't think he really is that scary. Maybe like uh, I want to know how much damage he's gonna do. Like let's do this. So 59 damage. Yeah, it's not that much. It's pretty easy peasy. Let's deal with those simple guys. That's it. So uh, let's get the push and pull artifact and get the spare wheel from the UAZ. So let's loot, guys, this UAZ. Let's get that spare wheel. So I thought that here it's gonna be the place. Oh, no, I got zapped. Wow! So it's actually better to have some sort of extra health because I think if I had, like, five health or something, it actually would have killed me. And I have to now give back the artifact to the gunslinger. So let's give him all of those artifacts. Boom, take him. Klim, isn't it? I know. A famous strider. I'm not really that famous strider, bro. Thanks for dropping by. No problems. And I've gotten some new items. That's just beautiful. So I thought maybe I'll be able to find, like, that splinter strider post over here, but it looks like it's not there. Maybe I'll have to go to the warehouse. Or maybe it's gonna be somewhere else, but regardless, we're definitely gonna find, like, those institutes and we're gonna start grinding them as soon as possible. So I highly suggest you checking out my previous Dono Zombie Survival video or click here on the second card and you'll go to my first ever episode of Dono Zombie Survival. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.